So there was one moment in last night's LA Chicago game which showed just how bad digital boards can be. There's a puck battle behind the net and what you'll probably notice right away is that some players are being clipped away. However, watch Kevin Fiala. He goes behind the net, literally gets thrown into the back rooms or something, only to pop back into existence a moment later. Now, obviously I'm joking a bit, but this is a pretty big issue. Thankfully, this time it was away from the play, but you can easily imagine how a disapparated player behind the net could end up contributing to a goal, whether they're passing it from Gretzky's office or even pulling off a Michigan. It's a good thing Fiala did return because he would end up scoring the game winner with a second left in overtime, but I don't know what to say about these digital boards. I don't mind them usually. Situations like this though are really not good and sometimes the implementation just seems to be bad which is extra frustrating given the quality of this game being broadcasted at least on Sportsnet now was also just ass. By the way if you don't know how this works and what's new with the digital ads I'll link a video I did earlier this season but essentially the actual ads in the arena are overlaid digitally with ads more relevant to the viewer and that's also why you'll see the ads change during the game. If there were no implementation issues, it wouldn't be a big deal. But obviously there are. And to be honest, I'm actually surprised it works as well as it does. It's pretty incredible technology. They're essentially keying the existing ads out on the fly i.e. they're removing the ones that exist and replacing them with the ones they want to show, which has to be difficult given the speed of the game and the viewing angle of the boards. You know, usually when you want to key something out, you use a green screen. Obviously, they can't do that here, and all the colors are the same. So there's definitely some pretty impressive AI technology. I assume that this will get exponentially better over the next few years, but right now, there's still some major issues, and I do wonder whether maybe they should look at maybe sticking to the static ads at certain places, like behind the net. I understand that it's good for revenue. If you've got to show ads anyway, they might as well be personalized. I actually don't mind the moving ads. I think they're kind of cool. I'm a bit of a gremlin like that. But if you are going to use the ads, there's got to be stuff done to make the viewer experience good. Just my thoughts though. I look forward to reading yours. One final random question I have. What do you think of this behind the net angle they've been using for power plays? Over the last few years, I've heard a lot of complaints about this and broadcasters are actually getting more experimental, especially when it comes with the power Power play because you know the team's going to be set up in the zone probably for a while. I like it. I wish the NHL would experiment more, especially, you know, during defensive breakouts where there's not like an immediate scoring chance. Also, with camera technology being more and more miniaturized, I would love to see not only ref cams return, but how cool would it be to get the occasional player cam? Obviously, you would keep it for replays, or maybe you could do like a star vision thing where it's up in the corner, but I just think that would be so cool. Anyway, that's all for today.